This is me and me little pal, George E. We're pirates. We're glad you joined us for the adventures of Long John Silver. <laughs> That's a good show, isn't but it, George? But not the restaurant. No, <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, the restaurant. It's the ice cream place. No, this is Long John Silver's, the TV series, about the character of Long John Silver. If you're thinking of Long John Silver, ice cream store, it's not that. Oh, it's not that one. The ice cream store. Well, the character's played by Robert Newton. He played the character first in Treasure Island in 1950, and then again in Long John Silver in 1954. Well, I just don't think that. No, no. The TV show was made in 1954 in color. And the restaurant wasn't. No, no, the restaurant's not made in it. This was made in Australia for the American and British markets. Robert Newton played Long John Silver, Connie Gilchrist played Purity Pinker, and Kit Taylor played Jim Hawkins. <laughs> and Kit Taylor played Jim Hawkins, that's what I said. <laughs> now Newton and several of the other actors had the same roles as in the 1954 film Long John Silver, also shot in Australia. Uh -huh. Now that is why they made this, because these two movies are so popular. <laughs> yes! So, 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 so. so popular. The series was shown in the United States in 1956 and in the UK on ITV in 1957. It was also shown on commercial regional TV in the mid to late 70s in Australia. In 1985, the series was repeated in the United Kingdom on a Saturday afternoon slot on ITV. 1985 even. So get ready. We're going to watch the first episode called The Pink Pearl. It was aired in 6 9 1958. First, sing us a song. All right, Georgie, you sing us a song. What? Hello, did you see? We see a great white star. Oh, that's a good pirate ditty, ditty that is. Sometimes. Okay, here we go. The Pink Pearl, the first episode of Long John Silver. But remember, not the restaurant. Not the restaurant. And as always, Georgie, remember what's we'll out of the audience. We're keeping an eye out for you. so good as to tell me what ship that is? The Faithful, matey. Would she be a private trader? Aye. Trader you might call her. Private enough, in a manner of speaking. Where might I find her owner? Usually, he'd be at the cask and anchor in. When he's ashore. Captain Long John Silver. Down yonder. Then bear to larboard. Captain Silver, you say? Yeah. Thank you. After our ship did split, when you and that poor number saved with you hung on our driving boat, I saw your brother most prov provident, provident in peril. Be that Shakespeare? Aye, the 
The Reverend Manasta says he's the finest writer of them all. <laughs> Words fair pop from his pen, don't they? <laughs> He'd be a poor man to keep a log. <laughs> Pardon me, could you point out Captain Silver? Captain Silver's over there, sir. Thank you. Uh, begging your pardon, sir. May I have a word with you? Ah, city down. My name is Richard Thorpe. Ah, and uh, this be Jim Hawkins. How do you do? Glad to know you, Master Hawkins. What should I do in a linear? My brother is in Elysium. Perchance he is not drawn. This must be an omen, Captain. For like Viola, I too seek a lost brother. Uh, yeah, yeah, you, you sound like a, like a lad of quality. Do we expect to find your kin among the likes of them there? <laughs> I think not. Come along, Jim. Time you're upstairs. Miss Purity, this is Mr. Thorpe. This is Miss Pinker. Oh, how do you do? I would like to hear what he has to say. I'll thank you to stay any discussion your ilk might have with him from the years of a young lad. Oh, I, I beg your humble pardon. I came as an honest man on honest business. There. Sit down, lad. Not yeah. in the presence of a lady. You do well to take notice of how a gentleman acts. Well, sit up or down, I don't care. I'll be captain here in my own booth. Thank you for your polite invitation, Long John. Now, what was it you had to tell them? I came seeking my brother. Not among this scum. <laughs> no, Miss Pinker. I only know he's out here in the Caribbean. Well, cut up your tail, lad. My brother, Geoffrey, who has the soul of a poet, had a longing to leave the fog of London and went to sea. When I last heard from him, he was living on a small island with friendly natives. He told me it was a paradise. Since I had been a clerk, he wanted me to join him and set up a small trading post. A trading post on these worthless islands? <laughs> he must be a dreamer. Oh, not completely, Captain Silver. The natives on this island dive for these pearls. a maiden's cheek. Be there any more as fine as this? Many. Even more beautiful. Where be this island? Here. I don't seem to remember that bit of land. And you likely don't remember slipping the pearl into your pocket either. I were only keeping it from the prying eyes of the cutthroats in your tavern. Then keep it for me, Captain Silver. You have my trust. Thank you, Mr. Tharp. Now, what made you seek me out, lad? The brig Oriole, bound for the colonies, brought me from England. I landed at Porta de Spagna and came overland seeking news of a private ship. I saw you are faithful in the harbor. Perhaps you would take me to my brother. It's a costly business to outfit and provision a ship. I am without earthly possessions, save for the pearl. Well, maybe we could sell it, but I'd hate to see it in the hands of a stranger. Well, don't be calling me no stranger. Uh, uh, Miss Purity handles the purse strings in Portobello. I've been thrifty, why he insist on gambling? Oh, he'd be a fine sailor, but carousing is done in his savings. Or belay, Purity. The money for this could pay your debts. Well, what about provision in the faithful? I could advance the money myself for only half the takings of the voyage. Seeing as how I'm partial to romantic tales. Or it be a bargain. How do you sail with your mate and quartermaster in jail? Your crew in jail? 
Uh, well, it, it were just a slight misunderstanding, but uh, Miss Purity will lend me the money to get him out, and uh, we'll sail on the morning tide. I'd best pack. To your room you'll pack. There'll be no going off to sea for you. But, Miss Purity, you promised I could go on the next voyage. Uh, there'll be no hazards to this trip. Why, it's merely a, a month's sail. We have a common love of literature. I would gladly tutor him. Please. Well, seeing there's no danger. But mind, I'll hold you accountable for his learning. And Iron Hand will go along to watch my interest. And to starboard! Arr, that be the island for certain. But there's not a soul in sight. And no niggers coming out to trade. I can't understand why Jeffrey hasn't sighted us. Touched by a ghostly hand, like Flint's bones. Issue pistols and powder and lower a longboat. Aye. Look alive! Stand fast, I'll do the party. Ahoy, mates. We've come for trading. What do you want? We poor people here. We peaceful people. Ask him about my brother. Uh -uh. We come seeking a white man. No white man here. There's something rotten here. He's lying. Ah. You stay here and guard the longboat. And if anyone tries to board he, you fire that pistol as a signal at him. <laughs> now kindly take us to your chief. find my brother. He's on this island. No white man here. No white man ever here. But uh, you speak English. Who taught he that? White man steal native boys for slaves. They escape. Come back. They teach a white man's talk. I don't believe it. Belay. Uh, what about uh, the pearls? No pearls. We poor. Fruit, fish, all we have. Uh, no, I, I never touch it. Island. But according to something up here, we'd be right. But you must be mistaken. I am the white man's brother. His name is Jeffrey. Turi, turi. Here, Tupato. Hey, man, here. Uh, 
You seem to be a man of uh, gentleness and kindness. My people like children, like to love, laugh. Then who lasts your manservant? Your eyes lie to you. Man no beaten. Come, lad, uh, we've made a mistake. Thank you. Uh, and the same to you, uh, sir. There are bones bleached somewhere underneath this sand. I can feel it in my toes. This is good. I've a mind to stay here. Well? We heads for the beach. Friend, I come to ship tonight. A native girl gave me this, Roger. She said she would be out to the ship tonight. Captain, it's my brother's ring. I was right, he's here. We must find him. Here, keep your voice down. We'll do as the girl says. Back to the boat. Maybe it was a trick. Maybe they've done something to her. We should go ashore. A bass. Over here, this way. Here, take her to my cabin. this ring to the boy. It is my brother's ring. Where is he? Your brother, Geoffrey. Good man. But dead. Who killed him? And what for? Why did your chief lie? Chief, my father, he lied to save his people. From what? Who beat your father's manservant? Why did your father say there are no pearls? We live with fear. Pink stones of sea bring death here. You, Jeffrey's brother, must go too. Bring death here. Well, death be no stranger to me. I, I rub shoulders with him many times. Who brings this death? Spaniards. The Dani. They come. Kill Geoffrey. Make my people die for pink pearl. Dive and dive till blood rush from nose and ears. Well, where are they? They go away in big ship. Uh, watch it. We'll find them and destroy them. No. Some Spanish still on island. Have guns on hill pointed on village. They hide when you come. Tell us not to talk or they burn village. We'll kill them. No, you must go. In two suns, big Spanish ship come with many guns. If you heard Spanish on island, they kill all my people. The village be hostage. You have been very brave to come here and tell us this. You have kind eyes like Jeffrey. Please go away now. Long John will fight the dark. Here, how did you get in here? You will, won't you? You hold your tongue. The Spanish will be slaughtered. They'll pay dearly for Jeffrey's life. We'll destroy them all if it takes the life of every last man aboard this ship. Here, oh, fast. I'm Captain here. Then prepare to fight. Load the cannon. Patch, patch. We'll give them all the killing they want. Huh? Clap him in iron. If you do this,
Listen to me, I flip you. Easy there, easy. And put her over the side. You're all turning tail and running. Whilst I'm captain here, things will be done my way. Here. This be my scheme. Those English pigs are gone. And now those brown devils will die for pearls until they die. <laughs> you say white man prayer, but white man go. Divers, out with all the divers! Out with all the divers! You were wise not to tell them of us. Now you will tell the divers to get to work. Our galleon will be here soon to take another shipment of pearls back to Spain. Men no dive! They sick! Those that are too sick <laughs> shall rest very soundly. <laughs> What's this about? To lie here trapped while the finger of doom points fair down upon our heads. Come out of there, or I'll pass you where you stand. You good man! Want to help my people? Tis the hate I have for the dog. What can so few do to big Spanish ship and many soldiers? Well, uh, my, my men here will uh, swim out to her and tie those there kegs to her side and, and blast her to kingdom come. My people tell our gods. They bless you for a hundred years and bring you riches. Now don't you breathe a word to a soul that we are here. He's on a point of starving. Aye, aye. I saw the Spaniards on the cliff when we sailed. Aye, and what's better, they saw us. I wish Long John had let me come along. He don't fool me, don't. It's all a scheme to cheat Miss Purity out of them pearls. That's what it is. Valet! If you're thirsting so for them pearls, why didn't you volunteer? I came to check, not to die. Ah. Stupid English pigs came to the island and saw nothing. <laughs> the people were so frightened they didn't tell them of us. Very good, Manuel. The divers have done very well. See, the view has been tied, but the fruit is very beautiful. There will be many more trips like this one. Many, many more. Drink up, mi amigos. It'd be about time to strip down to your pants and get ready. I'll stay with you, Captain, in case you get attacked. You go into the water. Shh! The thought of it came here cold. I bring swimmers, good swimmers. They do what you want. Here, look. Shar. 
works. Amen. Well, good luck to you. <laughs> this island be marked on my chart. And the British Navy will see that no more thieving Spaniards cross these here channels. We'll miss Ethorp. <laughs> and I hope I'm forgiven for clapping you in iron. I found Palou and peace. I could never return to being a London clerk again. <laughs> Tis a wish I've often had myself. Eh? Peace and contentment. I'm going to do what Geoffrey dreamed of doing. You, Long John, are commissioned to return in six months for a cargo of pearls. What about now? This for you, Capitan. For you and your men to enjoy. This fruit you like. We ain't leaving with just fruit. What about Miss Purity? But this be rich. Riches of the heart, and no money can pay for that. Fruit. I thought it'd be pearls we'd be staring at. You spying money grabber. Make the happiness of a fine lad and a lovely girl enough payment for ye. Now we'll have no more grumbling. An up anchor. Oh, oh, no, no. Jim Lamb. Yes, Long John? You're looking a little peaky. <laughs> a, a turn on deck might uh, freshen the color of your cheeks. <laughs> and, and take iron and with ye. I'll maybe a piece of fruit would do me good. <laughs> now off with ye. And so we left Thorpe there with the love that he had found. But you were to bring back pearls. But you have pearls, Purity. Pearls of wisdom. Huh? Oh, uh, I, uh, uh, Thorpe, he, he, he did ask me to give you this pearl as a special gift. He said you could put them with the one you already have and make a nice pair of earrings. Bless his heart. And according to our bargain, it'd be rightfully yours. You best keep it for ye and your crew. I've won Pearl. <laughs> and a warm feeling in me heart. <laughs> Long John, you're a better storyteller than Will Shakespeare himself. Ha, 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 ha,